Ah, and where do you think you're going, Siler? I I can't do this anymore. What did you say? Oh shit, he's gonna beat his ass. Mark, I don't want to be a gym captain. All I ever do is battle trainers in a small confined space. I want to explore the world and help Pokemon. I want a Pokemon breeder. I want to be a a Pokemon ranger. Oh, that makes more sense actually. <laughs> Oh, it's the ranger guy. Ch. No one should stand in the way of your heart's true desires. If your dream is to become a Pokemon ranger, I can make that dream a reality. Well, he is his father. And is he of age? If he's not of age, I'm pretty sure the father can tell him what to do. <laughs> if he's not at legal age to do whatever the fuck he wants to do on his own. Just saying. Wow, really? I can become a Pokemon trainer? A poke or a Pokemon Ranger? Pokemon Ranger? Ha, what crazy ideas you have, son. Siler, let me sort this out with your father. I'm sure I can make him see why this is so important to you. Uh, come on, let's wait outside. I want to go get that egg. Fuck you people, dude. Siler, congratulations. You can now become a proud member of the Southern Pokemon Rangers Guild. Wow, father, is it really okay? Yes. <laughs> he, he just, like, whooped his ass. <laughs> It's like, say yes, they're all killing you. He's like, okay, you fine, sure, whatever. Oh, Siler, that's great. But who's going to run the gym from now on? We'll arrange something soon. There are a few candidates. I know that may be fitting for the title. What isn't he doing? Is he too old? Is he a shitty trainer? Probably the second one. Oh, that's great. Siler, I'm going to Astra now. Go pack and we'll meet on Highway 102. I'll be waiting for you. Got it. Okay, now I'm gonna go drop something in the PC, probably the Beedrill, so I can go grab that egg back there. God damn it, I just want the egg, motherfuckers. Jesus. Mark, thank you for supporting me. Can you believe it? I'm about to become a Pokemon Ranger. Oh, that's fantastic. I know, right? Damn. I've got to hurry to Highway 1 or 2. Hey, if you ever find yourself in Ostra, give me a call. Okay, can I get the egg now? Fuck off. Good lord. All I want is the egg. I only came outside to get the egg. I don't give a shit about any of you. Has that person always been standing by that clock dial? He looks important. Alright, let me go drop B drill in here. Okay, my one of my next priorities is gonna be leveling up this magic harp so we can have a goddamn Gyarados on our team. Uh okay. That e that's an EV egg, by the way, for those who don't know. Uh let's go ahead and go up in here and grab this egg. I don't know what this could be. I'm guessing it's a bug or a grass type since it's, you know, in a bug grass gym. I don't know what it is. What? Excuse me? Oh, okay. It had no first. Why is no the first option? God damn it. I want the egg. I was about to say, if they didn't give me that goddamn egg, I was going to break something. Shit. Alright, so we got an egg. I don't know what's in it, but I'm going to keep it on us so I can figure out what's in it. So, there we go. Got another gift mon. All right. So uh, now that we're out of Shama, or now that we're done with the gym here, hello. You look important. What are you doing here? Okay, I guess he doesn't want to tell me. Uh, before we leave, I want to check to see if any of these have grown. Okay, they're almost fully grown. They grow pretty quickly, which is nice. Not like regular games where they grow slow as shit. Uh. Uh, so I guess we gotta go to the. I think Astro Town might be the next area to go to. I don't know for sure though. Can I actually do anything here? Okay, there's literally nothing we can do in here. What's the point of this area or this building? Uh, before we leave, let me buy some more Pokizar repels or yeah, Pokizar repels as they're called at five grand. Jesus. Buy a shit ton of those, because Lord knows I'm gonna need them. Money well spent. Money well spent. Okay, moving on from this town. Who's my fastest mon? So I have to run into wild Pokemon. 19, 26, 30, 32. Guess it's Buddy. Oh shit. Who, what the fuck? Yes, who are you? Jan Janin. My name is Janin. Agent Janin. I worked with your father. Hal, your father, and I, we've cooperated in many joint mis 
missions in the past. We're actually very good friends. When I heard he got captured, I visited our chief. I was very surprised to hear that there would be no attempts to rescue Hal. Can we talk somewhere private? Uh, there's a coffee shop in town. Oh, great. Right, I was about to leave, really. Uh, let's take a seat. Actually, hold on. I probably should. Yeah, I'm going to end this here, and we'll come back later. Peace out. Okay, we're back. Let's take a seat. Welcome. What can I get you? Coffee for me. You, Mark? Uh, juice? Coming right up. I want you to know, Mark, that this is all off the record. None of my superiors know that I'm trying to find your father. I'm doing this on my own accord, so I'd like us to keep it that way. The less people know, the better. Understood. Here we go. One coffee for you, sir, and one juice for you, kid. <laughs> Don't worry, Mark, I've got it covered. 40, is it? Here's 50. Thank you very much. Act like I'm broke. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, Mark. Uh, did your father leave any letters or messages? Uh, yeah, he left one letter. Professor Almond delivered it to me. May I see the letter? Place the letter on the table. Thank you. Let's see. Ha. How I really thought of everything. Your father left a peculiar note in the P.S. of the letter. Have you noticed it? No. No, what does it mean? It's awfully familiar. I believe it's a citation from a book. Citation? What good will a citation do us? Well, you should know that with Pokemon agents, a citation is never really a citation. Um, what? Huh. Uh, what I'm trying to say is he wrote it in the letter for a reason. I'm taking a wild guess here, but I think your father may be trying to tell us something. Possibly something about the mission. Maybe his whereabouts. Well, in any case, I'll have to run this by some of my associates in Silen. And I tell you something about the nature of your father's job. You probably already know he works for the Silentia Corp as a Pokemon agent. He, together with other agents, fights organized crime. You have heard of the notorious Vordev group, I presume? It was all over the news a few weeks ago. Your father led a team of agents who brought the group to its knees. You see, the Vordev group was the one mainly responsible for region-wide Pokemon trafficking and exploitation. We've been onto them for months, and then we finally got the lead. A green light to crush them. Your father's team emerged victorious. It was the end for the group. Or so we thought. One of the leaders of the group escaped not too long, not too long after the assault. To tell you the truth, he was the only high up we managed to capture. Others were KIA or have gone missing, and now we're completely in the dark. No one knows what truly remains of the group. Shortly after your father, one of the best agents, who crushed the Vord Dev group, goes missing. What do you think, Mark? Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. In fact, it's highly likely that... Oh, it's my phone. Hold on. Yes, understood. I'm on my way. That was Chief. I had to, imme I had to go to Astra City immediately. Sorry, Mark. I'll have to resume this conversation at a different time. You're following the path of a Pokemon trainer right now, right? Then your next destination should be Door River City. West from here. I'll meet you there again. Here, let me give you my phone number. Okay. Good luck, Mark. Can I have another juice? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, so now that that happened... Oh, our plants are growing. We got a yellow one this time. Look at that. Interesting. Apper plum yellow. So yeah, they give us three every time. Obviously, red's the most common, so the cheapest one. But how much is this yellow one worth? Is it more than a blue or less than a blue? Because blue's worth 1k. Like the blue, it's it does the same as a regular apple plum. It heals 20. This one heals 30. And it's worth 15k. Or not 15k. It's worth 1.5, 1.5k. Interesting. So obviously I'm going to sell that. I'm not going to use it for 30 when I could sell it for 1500 uh, we have four seeds on us. We'll plant two here. I'm not sure if we'll ever actually come back to get them, but just to make sure, just to, you know, plant them there, I guess. But we have plenty we can use. Alright. So let's 
go ahead and head out. So we gotta go to Door River City next, which I'm guessing is just over here to the left. Not 102. Should be over here. Yeah, we couldn't get by here last time because we needed two gym badges, which we now have. What's the name? What is this? Door River City. Okay, we're already in the city. I thought we were going to be like at Route 103. Oh, hello. This looks like an advanced city. Look at their streets here. Oh, man. All right, let me heal. Oh, look at all the people in here. That's a professor guy. To give you somebody if you collected 15 or more different species of Pokemon, you only collected 14. Come back and talk to me and collect at least 15. Well, I would have 15 by now if I didn't kill some of them. <laughs> Alright. Sure, go ahead. Um, okay. Okay. Alright. Get out of here. Wait, what do you say? The Pokemon are healed the instant I walked into this town. Technology. Wait, what? Your Pokemon get healed just by being in the town? Say what? That's a real thing. That's pretty fucking cool. Alright. Looks like it's a pretty big town. I got a pretty wing. Nice. Down here is Route 103, new encounter, but we're not gonna get it right now. What is that? It's a dream candy. What the hell's a dream candy? Uh, it draws out the hidden ability of a Pokemon that eats it. So wait, so it changes my Pokemon's ability to its hidden one? Hmm, interesting, <laughs> very interesting. around town what okay fine Jesus you don't got to be so mean about it cost you a mini fortune never heard someone say that before we have a Pokazar guy sell anything new uh, hello he sells pokey cook pokies are cookies has a 75% chance of healing any status problem how oh, great a <laughs> 75% chance Ooh, a reverse candy. I don't really see the point of a reverse candy, though. Because there's not, like, a level cap. There's a soft cap. Or whatever. Like, nothing happens if you go past it. You just get less XP than normal. So I don't really see the point of that. You just gave me a quick ball. Nice. Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, that actually does make sense now. <laughs> yeah, I could use one of those for Buddy. Okay, yeah, so I guess for the tournaments, yeah, that does make sense. Because with Buddy, that was the case. Like, he was level 21, I had to be level 20 in order to enter the tournament. Alright, I guess that's a, that's a reason to have those. Okay, fair play, fair play. Wait, what? Said something about him being the name raider, but I guess we don't need him, so he just left. Well. Pokey science. Gotta love that Pokey science. Talk to these two up here. Okay. Anti-trainer martial arts. What the hell? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so that half looks like an, that's an important building up there. Just won't go in there yet. We have the Door River City outskirts. Okay. Won't be going there yet either. So the outskirts to the left. We have Route 103 down below. What is the Bird Lovers Club? I guess it's the Bird Lovers Club. That was a pot back there. I'll just smash that real quick. I only like brown colored Pokemon. Wow. Okay. It's weird. Uh, HP candy. What the fuck is an HP candy? <laughs> Raises the HP IV of a single Pokemon by one. Interesting. So it's an IV candy. Got it. This arena a bigger one than normal? The arena you're looking at is is the gym. You'll have to win a tournament to fight the captain. Oh shit. So it's oh it's a pokey sh department store. Nice. Oh my god. So I have to fight through a tournament. Do I have to do it in a row? Like fight the tournament and then fight the captain? That's interesting. <laughs> Guess he doesn't care if I go this way. Alright, so we have Highway 102. Highway 102, Route 103, and then the outskirts. We have three different areas we can go exploring. I'm not going to do the arena right now. That's just not happening. There's no reason for us to do it right now. I'm going to check out the department store, see what they got. Apparently I can buy some IV candies. And this kid gave me a free antidote. Nice. Okay, I guess we can't go into the elevator. I'm spying on the Pokemarts. Oh wait, what? Wants to know the price of protein? Isn't it 9800? If I just go type in 9800, that's what it usually is, right? Okay, I guess that's not the regular price of the price of it in game. All right. I love how he's like, "Oh, that doesn't sound." Oh, it's okay. It's 5k. I love he's like, oh, that doesn't sound right, <laughs> even though he doesn't even know himself. <laughs> yes, I do know the price of protein. It's 5k. Ultra Ball. Sweet. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have enough money. <laughs> but I'm glad they have a vending machine. So glad they have a vending machine. Fantastic. Antidote. Why, the, why a random antidote along with like X items and shit? Why do they have the random antidote in there? What the fuck? Oh, hello, old sir. Sure. A long time ago on these lands lived a peculiar man. No one knew what the man truly was. He had features that only Pokemon have. His mother had terrible trouble with... Uh... His mother had terrible trouble while he was inside her womb. When the nine month came, he burst out of her, killing her. His father, enraged, bewildered, tried to kill the monster that crawled out of the dead viscera. But an unknown force stopped him, and the newborn disappeared in a flash of bright light. Shall I go on? Sure. Fifteen years later, that man in the world appeared in the world again with his Pokemon like powers and a clever mind. He gathered over the next five years, the biggest army of the Pokemon and people. With this army, he conquered and united all the towns and villagers in the regions, under his kingdom, the Primal Kingdom. Thus, he was called the Primordial King. There's a missing chunk here, but it continues later. One day, Zalos, the Primordial King, 
and developed into a majestic being that transcended the earthly realms. He then chose nine warriors of the land that would later become his brothers and sisters. Gets, con con blah, blah, blah. Gets confusing from here. One could deduce that the nine men and women from the land were already his kin from the day they were born. But how can that be? He gets cut off there somewhere. Here this is just an excerpt from another book, so this is not the whole story. I thought I'd get something for hearing that. No. I thought he'd give me like a reward for listening to his goddamn story because nobody else would. God damn it. Waste of my goddamn time. Unless that comes up later in the actual story of the game. Interesting. Alright. Well, there's nothing else here. I'll buy some lemonades when we get some cash. Alright, so all we have here, we have the mar the arena, which is apparently the gym. We also have this martial arts area right here we can go inside. Here to learn how to defend yourself from other trainers, you come to the right place. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put you off front in case we have to fight so you can get some XP. Okay. Okay. Those flames in your eyes. No, there's something else there around you. You will be worthy of training. Do you wish to begin now? Sure. Let us begin. Firstly, Pokikata is the art of self-defense. It is never to be used as a weapon against someone, unless they attack you first. Pokikata will teach you how to prevent your opponent from sending out Pokemon, while at the same time allowing you to send out yours if need be and win without fighting. What the fuck? I will now show you the stance, the arm positions, and the usual pattern of throwing a Pokeball. Memorize it and use it to your advantage. Hiya. Okay, I guess we're fighting. <laughs> he has a level 10 stuffle. Cool. Alright. Ow. Don't hit me, stuffle. How fucking dare you. Oh, you're dead. That was the first lesson. Now that you know the positions and the movements, you will now try to prevent me from releasing my Pokemon. To do so, observe the motion of my shoulder. Everything starts from the shoulder. Once you are certain I am about to throw the Pokeball, the screen will start to flicker. Press X repeatedly to block me. Assume stance now. Oh, nice. Excellent, young pupil. Excellent. This you have reached Kata level 1. This knowledge will be able to fend off weaker trainers. Hey, let me write down your new Kata level and your trainer card. Oh, so that's what it's for. Okay, so we can actually stop battles. Like, if we don't want to battle somebody, we can just rapidly press X while it's flashing and, you know, stop the battle from happening. Interesting. Very interesting. I want to keep going. Let me keep going. Your mind thirsts for more? <laughs> yes. You will improve the stance and your ability to predict your opponent's hand movements. Watch what I'm doing and try to prevent me from sending out my Pokemon by pressing X repeatedly. That's good. Now, again, watch my movements. All movements start from the shoulder. Very good, young people. You have not reached Kata level 2. Write down your new Kata level. Okay. This is as far as I can teach you, but come talk to me again if you wish to know how to continue still. I want to continue. You and your Pokemon will need to mature a bit if you wish to continue with your training. Visit the Pokekata Dojo in Silene Town. By the time you reach it, you will be ready to ascend to a higher Kata level. I'll be able to teach you again. Okay, interesting. Very interesting, okay. So basically that helps us, you know, stop Pokemon battles if we don't really want to fight, fight in them, against weaker trainers at least. Okay. Alright, so, uh... I think we're going over here and chill in the outskirts, see what's going on over here. Hello, there's a clown over there. Oh, 
I was hoping I could get through there. Circus. I hate circuses. God, why am I here? Why does this place exist? I don't like circuses. They're not cool. What is that? It's a Pidgeotite. Found a Megastone, I guess. What am I even doing here, Honk? Harry the Pilot. Okay, I guess we're not getting a ride to whatever that place was. Hmm. So wait, so she <laughs> said because so they can be put in Pokeballs where they belong? <laughs> yeah, they don't belong in cages. They belong inside Pokeballs. Oh man, that is fucked. Okay. Alright, well I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Next time I guess we'll check out the circus and do some other shit. I'm really nervous about going to the arena because I don't know how high level their Pokemon are going to be. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.